love a great nude lipstick but hate paying the price let me tell you something i'm gonna hook you up i am doing a review of my favorite drugstore makeup finds and specifically by makeup i'm talking about nude lipstick we're talking about the best nude lipsticks and lip glosses that you can buy for under ten dollars on amazon or at the drugstores tune in now Hey guys, you know the drill. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, especially now because I'm back. We've got insanely good stuff coming up and you want to be ready whenever we're throwing new stuff down. So make sure you're subscribed and also hit that cute little bell button so you're notified whenever we get a new video coming out. You know you want it. Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you are all doing really well and welcome back. I also want you guys to uh, welcome back my dog Bijan, who is now, I can, I think I can call him a dog. He's certainly no longer a puppy. Bijan, he is definitely a troublemaker. So you're going to see him running around here in the background while we're doing this video. Um, Bijan, Bijan, you want to say hi? <laughs> is he not the cutest? Bijan, you want to come here and say hi? Come up for your close-up? Come here. Want to say hi? Oh my God, he's so cute. He just slays me. Anyway, um, I'm going to focus, which is something you guys know I rarely do, but I am excited. This might go on. He, uh, we have started taking him to doggy daycare, um, which in the future... <laughs> will allow me. I wish I, I have, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to show you guys. See my mirror? Well, hold on. I don't know if I can show you. I don't know if I'm really showing you. He really, he really enjoys. Um, so we are in the process of making this room. We obviously just started. You can see I've hung a backdrop there, bought a rug. I've got one of my old lights up there, um, but I bought a full length mirror and we're going to make this my YouTube room. Um, so we're going to buy furniture so that I have an actual backdrop when I'm shooting my videos up here. Um, and, and I did buy this really great makeup uh, counter. I'm going to link up to this. Uh, it is very messy right now, but I will give you a sneak peek actually, because you'll be able to see it. Can you guys see this? It is old fashioned uh, like a full on makeup counter. And I'm going to tell you, I may have mentioned this in one of my last videos. This thing is the best investment I've bought recently. Um, I've always liked doing my makeup in natural light. I guess maybe I'd seen some bloggers, um, or just maybe an Instagram influencer or whatever with a setup like this. And I'm like, this looks kind of cool. And then I read the reviews and it sold me. And you guys, so this, the top mirror that I bought is separate. I bought the actual desk or whatever you want to call this. Um, the desk and the, the chair come together. I got that from Wayfair, I think. And then the mirror that came with this was just a regular mirror. So I bought this lighted mirror which as you can see, watch this. I can turn this all the way down. I can turn it all the way up. And so this is, but the great thing is, is like, no matter, that's probably not, it's probably a little bit more bright is what I need it. No matter what time of day it is, I can come up here if it's a dreary day outside. See, now the window to this room is over here. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I'm facing this way because I can come up here at any time of day I'm going to turn these lights on and I'm going to be able to put my saint makeup on and all my contour and I walk out of the house and I, I look, I look fresh. This lighting is perfect. So you guys, uh, I am back. You've heard me say that quite a lot, but you're just going to watch. You're just going to watch because we've got big things coming up on, uh, the Kelly O show YouTube channel. And I am so excited. And you know, we're talking about makeup today. We're talking about drugstore finds and um, 
you know, I've always worn a nude lip. Um, when I was in my early 20s, I wore nothing, believe it or not. I have to see if I can find a picture, some of these pictures. Um, I wore nothing but red lipstick. I used to do, you know, I never wore eyeshadow because back then I didn't know about the thing that we call eye, uh, eyeshadow primer. I didn't know. And so um, I would always, if I tried to put eyeshadow on, it would just get all, my lids would get all greasy and oily and the eyeshadow would crease off. So I would just wear eyeliner and, you know, like a smoky eye. I've always done like a smoky eye way back then before it was even called a smoky eye. Um, but I would wear dark red lipstick all the time. And I would laugh at my friend, Wendy, sadly, who is, is no longer with us. My best friend, Wendy, she was the one who wore like frosty pink lipstick and I was wearing dark lipstick and I'd make fun of her. Cause I'm like, why don't you wear dark lipstick? And now I never wear dark lipstick, like never, but I'm always a fan of nude lipsticks. And, um, I have several nude lipsticks that are my favorites right now that are my go-to. And I will tell you that right now, why did I put my lip liner away? Oh no, I didn't. Um, right now, and this is what I have on now and everything I talk about in today's video, I'm going to link up below. Um, and before I, before I start with, with what I have on today, and then I'll dive into some of these finds. And this will just be the first of several videos like this that I'll be doing. On that note, what I wanted to say is before I dive in, um, we're going to be, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this. Um, for those of you who've been tuning into me here on my YouTube channel for a while, um, you've probably noticed, or you've known me for mostly talking about fitness and, and, you know, I used to always post my vlogs after a workout and it's not that I'm not going to be talking about fitness. In fact, I have just started really getting back into working out again. Um, after losing a good, a lot of weight, 36 inches and 30 pounds, um, going keto. I really want to, you know, um, I've really been enjoying getting back into weight training after a long time af out of it. Um, I'm doing next to no cardio and actually loving it, which is surprising because you guys know I've always been a cardio bunny, cardio addict. Um, so I'll definitely still be talking about fitness, absolutely weight loss because I'm a, you know, I'm a keto coach now. I help women lose weight using keto. Um, I'll be talking about hormones and health, all of that stuff. But I'm also going to be talking about other stuff with regards to, you know, being a woman who's 40 plus. And that is, you know, just let's, let's just put it under the bucket of anti-aging and beauty. So skincare, hair care, makeup, fun stuff like this. Um, some also some home decor because I'm a crazy home decor, um, fanatic. I'm also, you know, into big time into cooking. I don't see me covering that much kind of cooking stuff because I don't consider myself a cooking, like somebody who's going to teach you how to cook. I'm a great cook and my husband and I love to cook, but that's not something that I would see I'm going to cover on my blog and on my YouTube channel. Um, but definitely going to be covering, you know, skincare, um, elective cosmetic treatments, anything to do with anti-aging, um, health treatments, uh, to help us, you know, long, just age better, from a health perspective, from a looks perspective, <clears throat> makeup, hair care, I mentioned all of that. So just as a sidebar, you're gonna see more of that type of content. You won't see strictly just fitness from me anymore. And if you're new, well, I just told you that as well. Um, you might have not realized that I used to strictly for the most part, just talk about fitness. That's when I started my YouTube channels way back in 2008. Wow. Um, and, um, it's been a long time, but it is really good to be back and I'm excited. So let's talk about some nude lipsticks. I have some really great finds to share with you some, mm, you know, not so much, but some really, if, if you're into a nice, sexy nude, um, full lip, I've got some good stuff for you. And I love that you can find this stuff at the drugstore. And what I've found is um, some of this stuff I just ordered from Amazon. Um, not that I'm surprised you can order this like th that. Oh, wow. You can order from Amazon. I just, I've always, here's what I'm going to tell you guys. I've always bought lip glosses 
at drugstores, so like at Walgreens or CVS. And I've always found great brands that I'm not really familiar with, with really great. I love to wear a lips, so I line my lips with MAC. Um, I'll just tell you, this is what this is right currently my day to day. I've I've been wearing MAC Spice lip liner for as long as I can remember. Um, somebody just said that that was they were talking about the makeup from the Pamela and Pamela and Tommy Lee um, Hulu. Um, Netflix series, which I watched and I thought was very good. And this was the uh, lip liner that she used. So probably I, I might have heard from it, heard about it from her back in the day. Um, because honestly, I think back, I don't think she looks as great right now. She just, I saw a recent interview with her and I was like, what is going on with the makeup woman? I, I mean, and maybe it's just that she wasn't tan like she used to be all the time, but I just always thought Pamela Anderson was like, Damn, damn. Um, I mean, barbed wire, like, come on. So, um, spice from MAC, gel from MAC. So this is, and I'm just gonna show you, like this is, can you see? It's a, it's a frosty lipstick. So I put this on, and then I have just always put on a lip gloss on top of it. I don't know why, I just think that like, you put a lipstick on and then a lip gloss, and particularly a glossy, like, I don't know. It's just gonna make your lips look fuller. So even before I got filler in my lips, you know, adding a, a gloss on top. Now, right now, um, I don't know if I have my glasses here. It's so embarrassing because I don't think I do. Nope. So I will <laughs> have to just post the link to all of this stuff down. But the gloss that I have on right now is also MAC. Um, and there is no way that I can read that, <laughs> but I will link up below. So right now, this is my go-to every day. Now, this obviously is not drugstore. I believe if you order, um, a Mac pencil, this, these are about 20 bucks. Their lipstick is 18 to $22 each. Uh, e every one of these Mac pieces is about 20, $25. So not break the bank, but also, you know, there's a lot of people where that is, you know, really expensive. So what we're talking about here, you are going to be surprised at some of the price points. Now that said, I told you that I've, I've always bought like Mac lipstick, some of my other lipsticks that I love, and I'll do these, I'll do separate videos for like what I get at Ulta, you know, the, the other lipsticks that I love, the higher end lipsticks that I'm loving. I'm really loving Kim Kardashian. Um, what is, uh, some of the other ones? Uh, it's funny cause I go through phases. Um, and then there was, oh, there's some brands that I discovered at, I mean, I really, really love, uh, KKW, um, those nudes, but I just have recently been going back to Mac and, and I tend to, when I go with something, I stick with it for a while. Um, so this has been my jam. And then I've always just gotten the glosses um, at, and I found like Nordstrom Rack has a bunch of makeup up front. So that's a place to look to and you can get MAC makeup on a discount. Oh, actually quite a lot of high-end brands at a discount as well. Um, but I've always found these great glosses at Walgreens or CVS. But then it was actually my assistant who said, yeah, you should, if you're going to do this review, you should order some of the stuff from Amazon. So I did. I went on Amazon. I did my search for my Kim Kardashian nude, and then all these other brands came up. So I just bought three that I'm going to talk about today, and and then um, I'm going to show you some, some of the brands that I, these are some of the brands that I know, and then I'm going to do more because Amazon had so many brands and you guys, the prices were so low, it was crazy. Um, and I've tried all of them out. And then what I'm gonna show you is um, what they look like. Um, the second part of this video will be me showing you what each one of them looks like, which ones I like, which ones I don't like. Um, and then we'll just wrap it up. And again, all the links will be below. But I would love to hear from you as you're watching this video, you know, what, Number one, what questions do you have about makeup for, you know, when you're 40 plus? 
what would you like to see? You, I'm going to link below as well to the makeup I did where I was demonstrating the new Saint 3, 3D foundation. I've switched to this cream foundation that I'm obsessed with. I think every woman over 40 should switch to it. Um, it's the best thing ever. I'm happy to do more tutorials on that. Um, I'm going to do skincare tutorials. I'll do, you know, eyeshadow tutorials, how I get my smoky eye. I have people ask me about that a lot. How to do eyebrows. I think people ask me about that a lot. I learned how to do eyebrows from other girls on YouTube. I'm happy to show you how I do it. Um, so whatever I can do in this area about makeup to help you, let me know. Losing my, losing this again. So let's get started shall we? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with showing you guys some of the um, brands that I've bought from like Walgreens or CVS before. And you can tell these are some well-worn brands. In fact, what I did is I've once I've used them, because I knew I was going to do this video, I've saved them in here because I wanted to make sure I, I wrote down um, the, what's the word I'm looking for? I wrote down the number and, you know, so that we can, so I can link them below for you guys, but also for myself. And, um, cause sometimes what happens, here's something to get to know. Sometimes what happens is you'll go into a Walgreens or a CVS or a Walmart and you'll get, you know, you'll find a brand and you'll find this, you know, lip gloss that you love and, and see this, like you can see that the brand has worn off and then you're like, Oh, I want to buy this again. What the hell is it? So if you love something, you know, like this, you can see down at the bottom, there's a label. This natural luster, um, I'll probably be able to get my glasses on. I'm old, I can't read anything without my readers. Um, but you'll be able to see that, you know, um, what I'm telling you is, oh, this is Milani. That's a really, that's a brand I really like. And I've, I've tried their stuff and I really, really like it. Um, let me see if I can take some, I'm just going to show you guys. So this is another Mac that I got. And this is like a, like a gold, but save it and, and get yourself a file. But you see the difference when you just, when you add um, when you add a lip gloss on top of your lipstick, I just, I love that look. Um, so this is another Mac. Um, I'm going to put that together. So I've got two Mac. One, as you can see, is a little bit darker. That's the first one I put on. And this is much more of like a gold, a lighter one. Really like that. But then this is, uh, Milani. And I'm just going to show you some of these glosses specifically. And then some of the more, um, lipsticks. I'll wipe my stuff off and show those to you. But this is Milani. And you can see again, I really like, my dog is licking the, uh, licking the, the mirror. Um, and you might be going, oh, you're just adding this to your existing lipstick. Well, yeah, but as you can see, like you see this, you see the color when I hold it up close, you can start to see this is a really Milani. I hope I'm saying it correctly. Real thick, shiny. It's going to make your lips look sexy as hell. So that's one brand I'm going to link up. Uh, oh, this is, this also reminds me of my friend, Wendy. So for those of you that are wondering, uh, my friend, Wendy, my best friend of 30 years passed away suddenly just in her sleep, like two years ago. So that's who I'm talking about. And God bless her. She's the one that told me about this sexy mother pucker. And this is available at, I'm pretty sure both those drugstores, uh, brands and they, now this is one of those, um, uh, lip plumpers. So when you put their stuff on and can you see this, this is less of a frost, but it's going to make your lips feel a little tingly and it, it will plump your lips a little bit. So this, as you can see, can you see the color? Like this is not going to be as frosty. Oh, well, maybe it is but definitely some tingle. Um, so Milani, sexy mother pucker. 
definitely got some great colors. Um, and both of these, I know, all of these I've gotten at Walgreens or CVS. Um, and then Elf. I've been getting quite a lot. You can even see the price tag on there. Looks like this was, oh, it doesn't say what it was. It's just a skew. But I've really been liking, I mean, look at that color. Here's another co color you can see. Um, I'm trying to hold it up close so you can kind of see, see the color. But they're all very, oh, I can, I can already feel like the tingle from that sexy mother pucker. Now the elves are not uh, the tingle, but they just, what I love is they're thick. Um, let's see. They've got that, they've got the, the shine, which I really love. To me, if you put on a nice nude and then you put on a shine like this, I mean, you can't get a sexier look. So next what I'm going to do, well, let me show you. There's one more glossy gloss. So I'm wrapping up this first part of the video, just showing you the glossy glosses. Now this last glossy gloss that I bought is called Infallible. Oh, this I think is L'Oreal. So this is like a brand brand name, you know, L'Oreal. And I just, tr I, I did like this. I don't normally, I wouldn't normally like review something like L'Oreal or Maybelline, but I did like this and I, I have used it a lot. As you can see, it's, it's quite almost empty. And you know what? I probably should throw in maybe a review of like Maybelline and, and whatnot, but I really did like this. I didn't realize that this was like such a, a name brand. So I'm going to link all of those below. That's going to wrap up this portion of, of the video where we talk about like glossy gloss, the top part. Now what I'm going to do is show you as we wrap up. So yeah, this is just part two is just more of me showing you lipsticks that I bought and what I like and what I don't like. So let's move right along.